reported uh, yesterday that uh, Scott Trade, yes, the name on the building where the Blues play, uh, is a company here in town. Uh, they are being purchased by TD Ameritrade. TD Ameritrade is run by the Ricketts family that owns the Chicago Cubs. Lisa Brown's been covering this story for the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. You can read all of her work at stltoday.com. Good morning, Lisa Brown. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Glad to be here. So, uh, bottom line for me, well, how bad is this going to be for job losses here in the region? Well, a lot of time when when, when companies make acquisitions, they, they don't announce the, the, the job impact. This time they did. They they weren't uh, uh, shy about it. They uh, Scott Trade has 1,800 St. Louis area employees. Uh, they, the company uh, executive said yesterday that it's that that after the sale finalizes next year, that'll be cut down to between 500 and and a thousand. So we're talking as many as 1,300 jobs lost just locally. I had no idea that Scott Trade had almost 2,000 jobs either. here in St. Louis. What do these 2,000 people do for an online brokerage account? Well, there's a lot of uh, marketing, PR, uh, uh, they've got the legal, they've got accounting. I mean, all those back office functions that support 500 branch offices across the country. It's all yeah. based here. Yeah, the other thing I thought was interesting about Scott Trade was it was an online brokerage, yet they had branches, too. That didn't make any sense to me, either. Yeah, you know, uh, some some companies have gone different routes. Now, TD Ameritrade, they they, they run kind of a capital light uh, so most of their uh, uh, business is done online they don't have as many branches which is why they see Scott Scott trade as a, as a attractive uh, acquisition when I talked to TD Ameritrade CEO uh, uh, yesterday he said that he liked that Scott trade had those those branches he, he when people have are investing their their money in, in, in talking about their wealth management sometimes they want to go in and talk to somebody face to face TD Ameritrade are they based out of Omaha yes okay are they gonna stay based out of Omaha yeah the headquarters is going to be uh, is gonna stay in, uh, in Omaha they do have uh, offices across the country unlike Scott trade which had most of its back office functions here in st. Louis right uh, TD Ameritrade has offices in New Jersey and Dallas and Chicago. So they said that it works with the way they operate to have a big call center here. That's kind of how they like to run their business. Do you think there's any chance that some of those jobs that will be lost here could go to Omaha then? or? Uh, it's possible, yeah. So those functions probably will go to, to – so they talked about $450 million in synergies. Those mm -hmm. synergies means when they have duplicative services, they don't need to have as many you know, attorneys and, and, and back office functions. The, those jobs will be handled by uh, out of Omaha. Lisa Brown, why did this happen and why did it happen now? Well, there's a lot of competition in this industry. You've got so these are the guys that that you can uh, uh, self-directed investing. If you want to go and get uh, buy stock in a company, you can just go online and pay seven seven dollars through Scott Trade or nine ninety nine through TD Ameritrade. Go online, open account, and and um, uh, and, and and do it yourself. But there's a lot of competition, and there's price uh, competition. So there's there's uh, Charles Schwab, there's E Trade, and there's this price wars on on lowering that amount. And so if you can't lower that amount anymore, the the next thing you do to do to, to grow your business is to get more customers. And one way to do that is through an acquisition. Scott Trade was a pretty interesting story uh, with this Rennie guy. Tell us a little bit about him. He sort of a flew under the radar billionaire here yeah. in the area. Yeah, St. Louis, uh, St. Louis guy. He partnered with somebody. They started the business actually out in Arizona, which is where where Scott Trade got its name. is is originally Scottsdale uh, Securities. Um, the the partnership ended, and he he brought the court. He bought the he he opened an office in, in St. Louis and grew grew it from here. So it's really a, a homegrown was St. Louis a, story. Was he rich before he started it, or what, uh, did he get rich by by Scott Trade? Well, our reporter Jim Gallagher's got a story in the paper today, just talking about uh, he was a uh, uh, an engineer uh, engineering uh, student, and he just uh, I think he started out at Edward Jones as an intern and just worked his way up from there. A great American He's story. Be a very really very rich man. Yeah. So what would his new role be then? He's going to be a board member so he's going to they uh when i talked to uh td ameritrade ceo uh tim hockey yesterday he talked about how roger ronnie is going to be um really uh, uh important in, in running and in, in integrating this business and in being a board member from from here on will the scott trade center now change its name yeah that's going to change so it's still this is there's a lot of uh regula regulatory approval that needs to happen this it's not expected to uh to to get approved until uh, next september um, but when that happens, yeah, the Scott Trade name is going to go away. Uh, I talked to them yesterday. They're going to change the name of Scott Trade Center to TD Ameritrade Center. That contract runs through 2021. 20, uh, right. So there could be, you know, who knows what's going to happen after that. Yeah. Overall, there's been a lot of mergers and acquisitions. And the Post yes. has an interesting story or, a, I guess, a pop-up uh, yeah. story about all the different corporations yep. that have left. Is this... 
Are we to see more of these over the next couple of weeks and months? You know, this is just happening um, everywhere. So in any city, it's it's not it's not just St. Louis. Uh, there's, just, there's just a lot of consolidation in lots of industries. That's how 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 business grows. Um, so yeah, we have seen a lot of consolidation in St. Louis. A lot of well-known company names have gone away, and but there's also been acquisitions. Stiefel Nicholas, based here in St. Louis, they're making they're acquiring. Uh, companies across the globe so it's not just one way and and st louis is a pretty big financial service sector hub is it not yeah we've got we've got so many uh, financial services jobs we've got wells fargo advisors edward jones stiefel there are and when i talked to somebody yesterday at st louis at the st louis economic uh, partnership they talked about how they're hoping that that center that hub of financial jobs will convince td ameritrade to maybe keep more jobs here because the, the, the talent base is here. Yeah. Uh, Lisa Brown, stltoday.com business uh, reporter. Thanks for coming in, and we'll have you on much more than every other four years. How All about right. That? I appreciate it. Thanks very it. much. Thanks. Lisa Brown, read all of her stuff about the TD Ameritrade buyout of Scott Trade uh, here in town at stltoday.com. Uh, 726.